Uh, hi everyone. So here we have our front end application. I can just log in to here with the same credential and it is using Firebase to allow me to log in and here I can explore and I can go to the restaurant landing page. Okay. Here you can see because I am currently logged in so I will be able to see the logout button. You can change the icon to something else, put the same kind of uh, the label. This we will change later. Okay, and this is the location drawer. And uh, if you are logged out, then you will be moved to the login page. Okay, so this is pretty much simple navigation we have done and how we have done. I will just uh, quickly walk you through on uh, the page design, page layout of the promotion and the new header component because it's going to be the straightforward. So I will not be talking much on the code side. Here we have the nav header. Okay, first of all, we what we did is we created this restaurant page. Okay, and we decided, okay, this restaurant page is going to have all these components, right? The nav header, promotional component, restaurant landing page. Okay, so the nav header. Nav header is our the main header, which we see on the top, right? And this new header design is plain and simple. It is going to have a new items. Simple new items. If we go into the bottom here, this is the SVG path of the SVG logo. Then we are using the location. Uh, location will just show the location drawer, right? So there is a similar to the lo uh, login drawer, registration drawer. We have created another component, which is a location drawer which is plain and simple, same as the login and the registration drawer. And here in the new bar, like we divided it into the two components. So the two sections, column MD, column LG6, column LG6, right? And this is our row, which is just fixing the, the width of this whole section because we need to centralize this content. Okay, this one. We put the max width of the header is 1200 pixel. Okay, margin is auto. So everything is centralized. And we divided the header into the column large 6 to column large 6. In first, we put the, uh, the logo and all the location icons and all. And in the second, we put all the new links. So in the second, we have a container. And inside the flex container, we have all these three new items. You can keep adding the other new items you have in the header. So this is like structured design. We can put uh, the number of icons. Here in this, we are using the lo login drawer component because user is already logged in. So we can, we can show some kind of icon here. Okay, the, the logout icon. If user is already logged in. Okay, here you can see the other new link also. Now we have the promotional component. Now this promotional component currently we are not getting from the APIs. So what we did is, okay, let's create a simple promotional component, which will just list down all the, the promotional list inside our uh, slick slider. So this is a slick slider settings. Okay. This is just a simple library. I used it many times. You just need to pass the settings and div and put all the divs you wanted to place inside the slick. So this is the first div, second div. These all are columns. Okay, all the promotional banners you wanted to put, just put all these things horizontally here. Here we have already provided a settings. Uh, slides we need to show four, slides to scroll only once. One, whenever you move the left arrow, right arrow, one slide will move left or right. Speed is 500 millisecond, infinite is false. It's like limited number of screens, we limited number of slides we have. This particular data, the promotional data can come from the APIs when we integrate it with the APIs while fetching the restaurant list information. Now, after doing this, what are we left with is the restaurant listing page. So I, if I do the login, I'm able to see these components. And now we need to add the restaurant listing page, which will just uh, fetch the AP data from the APIs, okay, all these restaurants available in this particular region. And then you can actually do the categorization, okay, the vegetarian, non-veg, premium, exclusive, all these things, okay. So that we will uh, create in the restaurant landing page here. So here we will do the, the categorization and the filters. 
so that all the list we are getting we can write a filter on top of that and we can categorize them and then inside because we are going to get a list of items so be ready here we are going to make a call to the restaurant so here we need to move back to the apis and say okay seed the restaurant data and i will be using use effect hook to make an api call it will give me the data i will do the filtration based on the types of the restaurants some are vegetarian non-veg italian and all these things and i will categorize them and i will put them in the different different sections using use state hook i will manage the state and i will be able to populate that and we are going to use this uh, molecule i think the restaurant card to represent a particular restaurant we are going to use restaurant card component to display the thumbnail about the restaurant menu restaurant information okay so let's do that in the next video so before that i think we need to go to the api side and need to see the restaurant data and we need to fetch before that we will decide okay what all information we know we wanted to show on the ui about the restaurant uh, thanks everyone